Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my another new video and today I will show you how to fix user stuck at launching screen and stuck on loading screen. Let's get started. As you can see, I have user early access and I have uh, some games uh, on my uh, user early access page. So you can use mainline build or early access guys if you are using user emulator in your pc for the first time then you'll need some settings for your user emulator and your pc so first of all go to emulation and go to configuration and make sure multi-core cpu emulation is enabled and go to cpu and select auto from here otherwise you can select unsafe both options are workable on user emulator for performance so you can use auto and go to graphics and select these options from here as default and uh, select from here Vulkan instead of OpenGL because uh, Vulkan is better than OpenGL and select from here your GPU device and I wanna tell you something important things over here if you want to use Vulkan for your GPU device then make sure your install drivers for your GPU are up to date go to this PC and right click go to properties and go to device manager and go to display adapter and as you can see this is my GPU device over here you can see guys and right click and go to properties and go to drivers now you can see over here driver date and driver version already installed in my PC for my GPU if you are using older version drivers then please update drivers for your GPU first if you want to update drivers for your GPU then go to details now you can see the name of your GPU device over here right click and copy now you can search for latest drivers for your GPU now go back to the settings for your user emulator select from here the GPU video recording default if you are using external GPU then select from here GPU video recording and if you are using internal gpu then select from here cpu video recording but i have an external gpu so i select this one and if you are using multiple devices then select powerful gpu device from here but i have only one gpu device already installed in my pc now select a resolution scale 1x by default and click here select AMD super resolution now go to advanced and check this option force maximum clocks Vulkan only because we are using Vulkan and uncheck this option use Vsync and check it and check it check this option and select from here normal if you have a powerful GPU then select from here high but I have a simple GPU device this is why I select normal now go to controls and select from here docked or handheld if your game is 32 bit then select handheld and if your game 64 bit then select docked now ok and make sure your settings for your game are same right click and go to properties and general select multi-core and cpu and graphics and advanced all settings are same for my game ok after these settings you can play any game on your user emulator without the issue and if you're still facing the issue for your user emulator then make sure your settings for your GPU are completed. Right click and go to NVIDIA control panel or AMD or Intel HD graphics. So I am using a NVIDIA GPU. Go to control panel. Guys, do not skip any part of this video. 
now go to adjust image settings and check this option and select performance from here and check it and apply now go to manage cd settings now scroll down and select from here OpenGL rendering GPU select your GPU device from here and power management mode select maximum performance from here scroll down and go to texture filtering quality select high performance now click on apply now click here and select from here your powerful GPU and click on apply and it's done now close it and make sure your settings for your PC already done go to search bar on your windows and type here MS config press enter and go to boot options and go to advanced options and uncheck it and uncheck this option and ok and apply and ok and restart your PC now after restarting your PC you can fix the issue for your user emulator and if you are still facing this issue for your user emulator then restart your user emulator and make sure your user emulator is up to date so I am using older version user emulator now I need to update my user emulator now I have newer version user emulator I extract it and I open this folder and open it now as you can see I have user 3507 you can see guys so this is older version Yuzo and this is newer version Yuzo after updating your user emulator go to file and open user folder now close your user emulator and create a new folder on your PC desktop and open this folder and cut these all files from here and paste here now this folder is empty now close it and reopen your user emulator and ok and go to file open user folder and close your user emulator and go to keys folder and go to your old folder for your keys and make sure you are using latest version prod keys for your user emulator if you have older version keys then please update it first so i have new key for my user emulator over here so you now copy and go to the folder and paste here now go to NAND folder and system and content register and make sure you have updated firmware files in your user emulator I have already firmware files but I need to update my firmware files now I have newest version my firmware for my user emulator as you can see firmware files 16.0.1 now copy these all files from here and paste here and it's done close it and close this folder and close it and close it now reopen your user emulator
and select your game directory and go to emulation configuration and use the same old settings for your user emulator okay after these settings guys you can play any switch game in your user emulator without the issue so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe and like my this video thanks for watching